So a lot of you have been asking for updates um, post the last video that I posted where I said that I am in psychosis right now. And so voila, here's the update. I am in the hospital. I'm currently in the psych ward. Um, yeah, it's kind of sucked. And so I'm probably going to do a fuller video later on about you know, what exactly all transpired and what happened and whatnot, and probably with Rob's help, because a lot of it is a little bit fuzzy and um, confusing for me. But yeah, here I am. Um, it's actually kind of a nice psychiatric ward. I don't know if you can see, but I'll just kind of pan around the room here. It's an individual room, which is um, something that I have not had the privilege of having more often than not when I've been in the psych unit, so that's nice. Um, the ER emergency, kind of as expected, was atrocious and traumatizing, and somehow I went in voluntary and ended up involuntary or certified. So again, more on that in a later video where I can talk more extensively about it and kind of reflect on everything that's happened, but um, yeah, I guess I was certified or formed for a few days and just managed to get that lifted with my psychiatrist, but the plan is still to be here for another few days at the very least. Um, it's Friday, so over the weekend, and we'll see where we're at on Monday or Wednesday or that kind of thing. Um, I think, you know, I kind of talked about this in, in the last video where something that's been particularly challenging about this experience has been the kind of floating in and out of having insight into what's going on and being able to understand that I'm not able to trust my brain the way it's functioning right now. And so that has been really, really kind of difficult and in some ways I almost wish that there was that kind of blissful ignorance of just being completely lost to psychosis. Granted that's much more difficult to deal with after getting out of psychosis and I would imagine that's more difficult on loved ones and people around me so I guess I don't wish for that and I am grateful that there has been a level of insight. Um, I think also just talking about this stuff for a living on this YouTube channel and whatnot has helped me to be better equipped to talk about what I'm experiencing and accessing help through that language and knowledge that I have. It's been beneficial in terms of allowing me to be more effective in advocating for myself getting care. And so what do I want to convey with this video? Um, I guess first and foremost, you know, I'm filming from the inside of a psych ward, trying to normalize that. It's okay if you need help in this way. If you're unable to manage your mental health on your own, in the community, at home or whatever, it's okay to need the added supports that a hospital can give you or to just be kept safe in a hospital. It's okay. It's much like any other disease. You know, I know you hear this all the time that if you break your leg, you wouldn't just try to tough it out at home. You'd go to the hospital and get help for it. And so it's much the same. It's okay to get help from the hospital. That said, small caveat, it can be incredibly traumatizing. The whole experience and the way the system is set up and this was a traumatizing experience. Luckily, I'm grateful that it was probably the least traumatizing experience I've had because I did approach it from like a voluntary and kind of willing perspective of wanting to get the help and having a good idea of how to communicate about what I was experiencing and that level of insight as well that I was talking about that was helpful. Um, I'm lost, I don't know what I was saying. Um, 
Right. It can be traumatizing. And so there's a level of, of needing to kind of expect that especially the experience in the emergency room department because the reality is they're just not geared toward offering good mental health support there and so it's kind of this horrible little phase you have to go through in order to get the help that hopefully will actually be helpful at the hospital in the actual psychiatric ward or unit. So that's kind of an update on where things are at with me. I, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched the I'm in Psychosis video and sent really, really kind things and messages and thoughts my way. I really, really appreciate it. It was really nice and comforting for myself as well to hear how much what I talked about resonated with each of you as well. And so you know, my effort, my goal was to make you all or someone out there feel less alone in what they're facing. And in return, you guys have all made me feel a lot less alone in the experience as well. So thank you very much for that. Um, I will try to keep you updated as this progresses, but I don't know, I'm probably going to be here for another several days, up to a week. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I probably will, you know, maybe a couple weeks out from here, do a more thorough video, probably with Rob, about what exactly this whole process has entailed. I'm still not feeling super grounded in reality, and I'm still not feeling super myself, so it will probably take some time before I'm able to record that video, but Thanks for your patience, thank you for following along, and thank you again for all of your well wishes and support, it means a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video, bye.